Thank you for joining us for another episode of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this episode, we'll be talking about COVID and the question that was posed by a diver was that they were now a couple of days into a very mild case of COVID and it was around day eight and they were hardly symptomatic and the tests that were done indicated rather mild infection and they were wondering whether it would be appropriate for them to dive let's say within 10 days or so. Now the answer to the question is a little bit complicated because we first of all have, and there are actually uh, YouTubes on this topic, have really looked at COVID and pulmonary changes using a relatively simple system called the Sadler system in which we divide largely individuals into those who have had no respiratory symptoms or didn't need oxygen, those that needed oxygen but not admission to hospital, and those that ended up in an ICU. Now, for those that really had no symptoms that required extra oxygen or something like ICU treatment, we've presumed that their lungs and lung function should be normal. It hasn't been verified and relatively recently there's been an article showing that even fairly mild cases of COVID may cause some scarring of the lung. However, we are pragmatic about it and what we suggest is unless there is a complete recovery and we would still then recommend a period of at least six weeks if it's about diving. We're not talking about the period of infectivity, etc., etc. We would recommend typically a six week period of full recovery in which the person's ears as well as their lungs are back to normal and they're able to equalize and none of that is a problem. And if there's any doubt about respiratory symptoms, they should actually see a diving physician and there may be an indication for chest x-ray. Now, chest x-rays are not that sensitive to changes of COVID. However, if we find scarring on an x-ray, then that is a level of scarring that we consider to be significant. In other words, a normal x-ray after COVID is somewhat reassuring, whereas an abnormal x-ray after COVID may prompt additional examinations. So, the bottom line is, wait at least six weeks and certainly until the ears and not only the lungs but the ears have returned to normal and if there haven't been respiratory symptoms then you should be okay to dive but if there have been respiratory symptoms and that may even mean that there has been a dip in your pulse oximetry if you bought one of these home pulse oximeters if there was a dip it wasn't too bad that you had to go to hospital, but there was a dip, dip nonetheless. Then one should see a diving physician and a chest x-ray is recommended, in which case if there are any abnormalities, further testing is advised. So I hope that helps you. It's a big topic. And of course, you can ask your questions by reaching us on info at dancer.org, medic at dancer.org, and then look at our COVID uh, videos that deal with these issues directly. I hope that has answered your question and uh, thank you very much for asking it and until next time, safe diving.